Hi, I'm Emmy. I'm Emmy Creates London on Instagram, and I am from Elevana slash Umbrella. With my brand, Emmy Create, I just fully really embrace like the London beauty vibe. It's really low maintenance, like no makeup, makeup looks, and just keeping everything really fresh and natural. So I've only had Emmy Creates for like nearly three years, uh, but I've been in the beauty industry for over 10 years. <laughs> um, I started as a nail tech and then I just really appreciated like the classic elegance of natural beauty um, and just embracing what you actually have. So I fell into lash lifting. I was actually working on set as a nail tech and I met a model and I used to practice lash lifts on my friends just for fun. It was like a hobby and then I met this model, I did her lashes and it went from there. I've worked with like so many people, but like influential, it'll probably be India, uh, Alexandra. She's my really good friend and she's that model of how I started my like lash lift career. Um, then I moved on to the girls on Made in Chelsea, Melissa and Sophie Habu. And then I've worked with like really famous Insta models like Millie Hannah. Um, oh my god. So I've done girls on Netflix shows, like series, films, everything. They all love it. Like the results are so good from the treatment. And I don't know, I've just built up a quite like a good name for myself in like a little like community. I just do clients Wednesday to Saturday and then anybody that's like in, like influencers, like higher profile. I'll do them on like a Monday, Tuesday when it's my day off. Um, I learned a lot when I was a nail tech because I was a, like an assistant session nail tech. So I'd work on commercial and like editorial. That taught me a lot about how to work with high profile people, etiquette, what not to say, what to say. Like they want to escape from that life they live. They don't want to have to talk about it. Really, like sometimes they're willing to talk about it, but I only let them, if they bring it up, then we'll talk about it. It's nothing that I'll dig deep into. So I like, I respect their free time. I don't really know the lives of half of the girls I do because I don't watch telly really, like reality TV or anything. So I don't really know, like, I don't know anything about them really before I do them. I, like, I learn to Google people that have like a following. So I kind of know what their background is because for the first time, it was Melissa, I did her. I didn't know who she was. I just thought she was a model because it didn't say like she was on the show Made in Chelsea. Um, I found out the night before she was, so that prepped me. Otherwise I would have looked like an absolute mom. <laughs> I started in East London because it was cheap. It was the only place I could really afford. And then when like, all this madness on social media grew and like I was getting inquiries from like West London, South East London, like that's over an hour journey to me in East London. People don't think it's far but it really is. Um, so I just needed to look for somewhere more central so good transport, I guess if you're out of London like parking, um, and then like a good area, like there needs to be things going on so you don't get bored. I'm not actually, I'm in a studio, so I don't have a salon, but I'm in a building with like loads of creative people. And I think being like who you're around is really important too, because you want them to be doing well and you want to do well. It like lifts you, I think, and motivates you to do better. Oh, okay, so um, I genuinely like, I don't know what it's like outside of London, but I meet such cool girls every day. Literally, like girls that are students, like CEOs of huge companies, like girls that are traders, bankers, fashion stylists, everything. And I, I just see so many different, like I get so many glimpses into people's lives, which I really enjoy. And everyone's just been such a good vibe. Like, I, so yeah, it's more like a hobby. Like I don't feel like I'm at work at all, any day of the week. 
unless I'm at the computer. <laughs> I remember when I was put in a room, like two summers ago, I was at, um, I worked with a brand called Beauty Stack, uh, like a tester. So I was testing the app for them. So my clients would book in, I'd have feedback and things. And they invited me to an event for this like members club they were opening in London. And this is when I first started lifting lashes. And um, I was there and there was like 40 women and then they were like, oh, can everyone go around and introduce themselves? And I was like, me. <laughs> like, and these women are like fashion designers and like all really epic people. And I was like, hi, I'm Emmy, I lift lashes. <laughs> like, if I sat in this that room, well, when I sat in that room two years ago, I didn't think I'd ever be in the position I am now. Like, I've done all these cool people and like being fully booked. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a different story two years on. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, even if it's good or bad, literally. Like, it will put you in the path that you're meant to be on. And um, for me, it was giving up nails and doing lashing. Uh, I literally spoke to India. I met her on set and I was like, your lashes are really good, you have them lifted. And she was like, no, what's that? And I told her and she's like, let's do it. And if I had not have had that conversation, I would not be here where I am today.